was looking for help with my groceries because we were having some difficulty. Everybody I talked about said, go to the factory. I didn't want to go to the factory. I thought it was a free handout. When I came up here, I realized every time you go to the factory, if you go to talk to an advocate, or if you come to community care, or if you go to an evening program, you earn what's called factory bucks. And you get 30 factory bucks every time you participate. And that's what you're allowed to spend every week at, we used to call it the pantry, but now it's the market. If you come regularly to the factory to participate, you could go regularly to the market to get your food to help subsidize your grocery bill. And for $30 a week, you can walk out of here with an overflowing grocery cart. And it just stretches your grocery bill unbelievably. It's just a huge, huge blessing. It's like a little grocery store. You can get bread, you can get canned foods, you can get cereal, health and beauty products. Sometimes they have pet food or whatever people donate. And you can pick out what you want and what you use and what you need. It gave me my self-worth back. It wasn't just a hand up, it's a hand up. It, it makes you feel good. And the more that you participate, you realize you're giving back to the community. Like today in community, we're, we're filling Easter eggs for the Head Start programs, little children. And in a couple of weeks, we're gonna hide the Easter eggs and the kids are gonna have an Easter egg hunt. And that is really neat. The love that is emanating from this building, it's just becoming a beacon on the hill and it's helping our community. We're loving our community. And it just is not here in Kinsers. It stretches out. I live in Gap. There's a young lady that comes to community that lives in Ephrata. People in Lancaster, Strasburg. I mean, when we talk about our community, we're just not saying Kinsers, Paradise. Before it was rather lonely. Uh, just my husband and myself in the house with a little dog. We've got our own, you know, medical problems and, you know, we get to the doctors and to church. Now, being a part of this community, coming to the factory, we have met so many friends. And even in the little area that my husband and I live in, we've met our neighbors. We've lived there 20 years and we only knew the people that lived next door to us. But we realized coming here to the factory, we have met so many of our neighbors. Our little community where we live has gotten bigger. And I've made friends here, so my social community has increased, you know, and I have friends that I can call on the phone if I just want to talk. It has just opened up my life and made it so much richer. Every time you walk in the building, someone's gonna greet you. Oh, hi, it's nice to see you again. Oh, we haven't seen you for a while. Are you feeling better? And they treat everybody the same. It doesn't matter if it's a business person coming in to talk with the development staff, or if it's a participant that's coming to pantry or coming to community or to a class, everyone is treated the same. There is no class difference here at the factory. Everyone is loved just the same and is greeted the same and is, is felt warmly welcomed the same. All of our journeys are crossing each other's paths right now. Now I don't know how long these people are gonna be in my life. Some of them are just for a very short season. Some of them I think are gonna be for a very long season. And it's just so interesting to see how everyone's life crisscrosses and it's like a multi-lane highway that you travel to get from one destination to the other. Well, we're coming from some point in our life to our final destination. And on our road, we're meeting others and that's a journey. And you need each other to be able to go through that journey because on the low parts, you need someone to help you go through. And on the high parts, then you have someone to celebrate it with. And my, my life, my journey is as important to them as theirs is to me.